Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to create a key pair. And remember what we discussed in the last lecture. A key pair will allow you to connect to your EC2 instance securely. So to create a key pair, I want you to type EC2 in the search box and select EC2 here. On your EC2 dashboard, I want you to come to the left side, then scroll down. Under Network and Security, you will see key pairs here, select it. Then on this page, we are going to click Create Key Pair up here. And it is going to bring you to this page. The first thing you have to do is give your key pair a name. So I'll give it a name. Once you have given your key pair a name, for the key pair type, we are going to leave it on RSA. And for the private key file format, because we will be connecting to our EC2 instance using PuDY, we are going to select PPK. If you are connecting to an EC2 instance from a Mac computer, you are going to use a PEM file. But because we will be connecting to our EC2 instance from a Windows computer using PuDY, we are going to select PPK format. Then the next thing you are going to do is click Create Key Pair. And there you go. You can see that I have successfully created my key pair. And one thing I want to mention about key pair is when you create a key pair, two keys will be generated for you. The first key is called the public key and the second key is called the private key. The key that you see in the AWS management console right here, this is called the public key. This is the key that you will put on your EC2 instance when you launch them. And the key that is downloaded to your computer, if you see a key got downloaded to my computer right here, that is called the private key. So anytime you need to SSH into your EC2 instance, remember you will put the public key on that EC2 instance. Then you will use the private key that was downloaded on your computer to SSH into that EC2 instance. And this is how key pair works. One last thing that I want to mention is the private key that was downloaded on your computer. Usually you can find them in the downloads folder. So if I open the file explorer on my computer, and I go to my downloads folder, you can see that key there. Another way you can find this key is, once this key is downloaded to your computer, you can right click on it here and click show in folder. And it is going to open the folder on your computer where the key is downloaded to. And as you can see, the key is in my downloads folder. This is how you create a key pair. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.